So moving on, um, once Arch Linux has uh, finished uh, downloading and installing, it just spits you, uh, throws you back out to the uh, command prompt. Okay, and here's all the files that were installed. So again, I'll clear the screen. And I'll zoom in. And we want to generate a file system table so Arch Linux can see it from the mounted partition. So it's GEN, generate, FS, tab, or F tab. And you can press tab on that. Slash MNT, tab there, space, two arrows, MNT, Etsy, FSTAB. And arrow key up once and delete all the way up to the last MNT and just type CAT and you see what it's done. And then after that, we just type in arch, start, just type start, just start typing arch and then press tab. And we want to ch root, so arch ch root to slash our mounted partition, MNT. And ls, and there's Arch Linux installed. Now we have to configure a few things. The first thing is don't forget is your password, and password is P A S S W D. Press enter, type in your super secret password twice, and it's been updated. Now we have to set our system locale or language. So for that is a text based editor called nano, N A N O, and then out to Etsy locale.gen press enter you presented with this file so I'll zoom back out and just page down uh, to where you need your uh, locale for me it's going to be en English US UTF8 and I'll also uncomment the ISO as well so just uncomment those okay and then press control O to write it out and press enter and control X on your keyboard to exit. Once you're finished with that, you just type in locale dash gen to generate the system location. And we want to set up our time zone. If you're not sure, you can um, ls slash usr, not usr share zone info. And it has uh, like continents, Africa, America, and you can see here. And it has subdirectories, so if you want to look for something in America, you can see all the cities, and that includes cities in Canada as well. Um, you have to do this in ln link dash s symbolic link usr share again zone info. Again, I'm pressing tab to complete the uh, name America, Toronto, for example, and then a space etsy slash etsy local time now if you want to give your machine a name you just uh, you can type this in you can do this completely optional echo give it something anything you want it doesn't matter I'm gonna just gonna call it vbox and then an arrow out to Etsy host n a m e host name and that's it and since I'm on uh, a simulated wire connection I have to enable a service the services in uh, Arch Linux. So I'm going to type in system CTL enable DHCPCD. And when I reboot, I'll, I'll still have internet. Again, wireless is through Wi Fi menu. So, speaking of which, we'll move on. And we're going to use Pac Man again. And then we're going to get some packages, dash capital S. And I'll do this for people with wireless. You'll need uh, wireless underscore tools WPA well, <laughs> underscore supplicant. And a very important and awesome Linux program, Dialog. And we'll download those and install them for you. So when you reboot you're not stuck without uh, wireless you should be able to get that working okay a couple more packages that I like to use uh, you don't have to this is optional um, pacman dash capital S uh, M locate uh, I find it handy for searching in the command line bash dash completion Oop. 
make sure I spell it right, and rsync, R-S-Y-N-C. And you can type in update db, update the, the database for mlocate. Um, it doesn't spit anything back, it just does that in the background, okay? And moving on, we want to make it bootable uh, from the partition, so usually it's uh, through grub, so pacman dash capital S grub, just type that in and press enter. Okay, now at the bottom here it says uh, optional uh, tools for grub is OS Prober to detect other OSs when generating the grub con CFG configuration file in BIOS systems. Um, and also EFI boot manager for EFI support. I don't have an EFI or UEFI board. I'm not sure how to, that works, but I'm, I'm not going to install that. Now OS Prober, on my main system, I don't use OS Prober at all, period. I just find it, for me, for my system, uh, when I boot to Windows, um, sometimes the, the, well, the time isn't right, sometimes the mouse doesn't work, and sometimes uh, the sound, certain, the boot sound doesn't work. So that's up to you. Since I'm in virtual box, I'll give you an example. So. Just uh, Pacman dash capital S OS dash prober. Next thing is you want to generate our init file for image MK init CPIO. Again, I press tab there uh, dash P and then Linux. And then we're going to grub dash install slash DEV SD. Now it's not going to complete anything there. Because I'm going to use STB, not STA. The whole idea of this is not to have Grub on the Windows partition. We want it on Arch Linux. So Grub dash install slash DEV SDB. Press enter. To keep the 1024 resolution, and actually I use this uh, for a Grub splash screen, is uh, I edit the Grub configuration file to be 1024 by 768. So all we have is text-based editor, so nano's fine. Uh, so nano, Etsy, default, and grub. Okay, press enter. And where it says graphics mode, right here, equals auto. I just delete auto and put 20, 1024, sorry, by 768. And then control O. To write out control X to exit and then finally we'll update our grub so grub or I actually make our grub, grub configuration file so grub dash mk config dash o slash boots grub again I'm pressing tab on a lot of this dot cfg and you see it's found windows loader um, it, you, it would say Windows 8, but I messed around with Windows 8. Uh, I got I got rid of the separate partition loader. That's why it says Windows Vista. So if you haven't messed around with Windows at all, it'll say Windows 8. And it found it on SDA, which is what I mentioned way back when we started with the F-Disk. And that's it. Arch Linux is installed. So you just type in exit. And then we'll unmount MNT. So you mount not unmount, it's actually umount slash mnt a dash capital R and we'll reboot. Just for demonstration on OS Prober, the 721 it's off if that's the wrong time. Uh, that's why I don't use it. That's one example. Even though it's Arch is on a separate hard drive, OS Prober, I don't know why, it, it, I don't know if it's Windows or OS Prober or the combination of uh, that's why I don't use it is because of it presents other problems uh, in Windows okay unless I'm using it wrong too maybe there's other parameters I'm missing but I don't use it okay so in VirtualBox the key that you press is F12 to select uh, another hard drive so I'll restart the machine so I'll right click and restart and when you see Virtual box come up, press F12. Okay. And it says AHCI controller. 
Hard Disk 1 is where Windows is installed, and Hard Disk 2 is where Arch Linux is. So we want to boot to Arch Linux, so press 2. And there we are. And there's Arch Linux, Advanced Options, and the Windows. That's from OS Prover, so Arch Linux. And then we'll log in as root and your password. And to make sure we still have internet, just do a Pac-Man dash capital S-Y-Y. Yes, we do. Okay, good. 